It's often said that what's good for General Motors is good for America. But is this really true? This question is particularly important right now as we continue to bail out firms like General Motors and others. Should economic policy be concerned about helping particular businesses? Or should economic policy be concerned about creating an environment for free markets and genuine competition that serve all of us in our role as consumers? In a genuinely free market, firms decide for themselves what to produce, how much to produce, and what price to charge without the use of force or fraud. Firms innovate, they provide new and better products, and they compete for consumer dollars. The result is that if firms want to make a profit, they have to provide goods that consumers want. That is, they have to create value. Think about the way in which Android phones are competing with the iPhone or Google Plus is competing with Facebook. And all of this competition improves the quality of products and reduces their prices. In a free market, profits are not just an incentive for firms to do well, but profits and loss serve as a signal to firms about how best to produce things, what sorts of inputs to use to produce them, and what sorts of things that consumers want. Profitable firms in a free market create value by taking inputs and transforming them into an output that consumers value more highly. Firms that lose money in a free market do so because they aren't able to transform inputs into a more valuable output. In fact, they destroy value. That's why they're losing money. Free markets are ultimately about value creation. This is why people who support free markets tend to reject things like bailing out firms or granting firms monopolies or giving them all kinds of subsidies. Bailouts, monopolies, subsidies may be pro-business in the sense that they help particular businesses, but they also lock in those businesses' inefficient practices, and we don't provide firms with a way of learning when they've made mistakes. If anything, the people who support regulation and less than free markets are ultimately pro-business. Why is that? Well, it's often the case that businesses support regulation as a way to harm their competition or to help themselves. So, for example, Walmart a few years ago came out in favor of raising the minimum wage. Well, why would they do that? Well, one reason is Walmart pays above the minimum wage while a lot of their competition pays right at the minimum wage. If government raises the minimum wage, those competitors face higher costs and Walmart benefits as a result. In addition, firms that are regulated often wind up capturing the regulators. That is, that the regulations get written and enforced in ways that benefit the firms in the industry. So people who support regulation of the marketplace often end up being pro-business precisely because those regulations serve the interests of those business. Supporting a free market is not the same thing as being pro-business. Supporters of free markets are ultimately pro-human and pro-people because it's through markets that we get the most innovation and we get the most goods at the cheapest prices. That's why supporters of free markets reject things like corporate welfare, bailouts, and subsidies. So is what's good for General Motors really what's good for America? Not necessarily. What's good for America is free markets and genuine competition. Through free markets, we get firms creating innovative new products at progressively lower prices, and that benefits all of us in our roles as consumers.